Now we'll look at end behavior. When we look at end behavior, we want to know what happens when x gets infinitely large or small. So we want, what we're really concerned about is the very ends of our graph. We are not concerned with the middle area. What happens in the middle area is going to be off, it's going to be weird, we're going to have roots, vertical asymptotes, a lot of stuff, but end behavior tells us what happens when we look really far to the left and really far to the right. To do this, we want to look at the degrees of the numerator and the denominator. Comparing those degrees will tell us what we're dealing with as x gets really big or really small, and we break it up into three cases. In the first case, this is when the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree in the denominator. When this happens, say we have a fifth degree polynomial over a second degree polynomial, we know that as x gets really large, it's going to make both polynomials increase. But the numerator, the fifth degree, is going to be increasing faster than the denominator. So your numerator is going to get a lot bigger, a lot quicker than the denominator. And when that happens, when you're dividing a much larger number by a smaller number, the whole fraction is larger. This tells us that the graph is going to shoot off to either positive or negative infinity on either side. A way that we can write this is that the limit as x goes to positive or negative infinity. So as x gets really big, either positively or negatively, as we look at negative 100, negative 1,000, negative a million, or the positive end, 1,000, 1 million, 1 billion, then our outputs are going to get really large too, either positive or negative. They're going to be a thousand, a million, a billion. This can look a number of ways. We could see something that looks like that, or like this, or like that, or like that. All of these, our graph is shooting off to positive or negative infinity on the left and the right sides. It'll probably be easier to see this with an example. So let's look at the f of x you're given here. f of x equals negative x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus 10x. The degree of your numerator is 4 over x squared minus 25, so the degree of the denominator is 2. Well, the degree of the numerator is 2 more than the denominator, meaning that if we really zoom out on our graph, your graph is going to look like a quadratic. It's going to be a parabola. And don't forget this negative out here which means it will be flipped, so it's concave down. Well, let's look at the graph and see if that's true. We pull up our graph. Now, when we're in tight here, it doesn't really look like that's the case. We see all this weird stuff. We see some vertical asymptotes, a root. Watch what happens when we zoom out. Hopefully you're starting to see it. What we get is something that looks like a concave down parabola. This tells us that in this particular case, the limit as x goes to negative infinity so as x goes off to the left, our graph, our outputs, go down to negative infinity. The limit as x goes to negative infinity, infinity for this graph is negative infinity. And the limit as x goes to positive infinity, as x goes really big in the positive direction, our outputs also drop off to negative infinity. That's just for this one example. And that's looking at